Now we're going to take a little walkthrough scenario in which we emulate a fictitious borrowing pattern whereby the user or the patron takes out some books and the administrator processes the books. And we're going to start with the user. So I'm going to log in as John Smith. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my account and I see that I have no reservations, but I have a book that's overdue, and the book that's overdue shows up in red. I do have a chance to do a, re a renewal, but doing the renewal, of course, is not going to remove whatever fines I owe, but I do have that option. So now I can go ahead and get the books I need. I have to do some uh, papers, so I need to grab a couple of books. Of course, I need Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. So... Let's do a subject search. We know that it's a nice little murder mystery, so let's see what we come up with for murder. And if we scroll on down, we'll see there it is, Crime and Punishment. I'm going to add it to my book bag. Note that my book bag now goes to one. What else do I need? Let's do a title search for Indubious Battle by John Steinbeck and there it is I'm going to add that to my book bag notice that my book bag goes to two let's do an author search I want to pick up A Tale of Two Cities but I'm going to do an author search because I want to see what other Dickens works the library has okay we have Great Expectations Best of Both Worlds I'm going to go ahead and grab a Tale of Two Cities. This is my book bag, now goes to three. Now let's do a regular keyword search for Ray Bradbury's classic, Fahrenheit 451. And the Find As You Type helps me out. And I select from the list, Fahrenheit 451. I add it to my book bag, and now my book bag stands at four. So now that I really have all the books I want, I'm going to go ahead and show my book bag. Here are the items that I have. And the first thing I'm going to do is get this out of the way. I want to write a review for The Jungle. I actually read this already. I'm going to first give it a star rating. And I'm going to go ahead and write a review. comes up with my name. So I'm going to write my deep and insightful review. I'm going to put it in fiction and click save. I get a confirmation saying that my review has been submitted for publication, meaning that it hasn't been published. It means actually that it goes to the administration to be evaluated for publication. Now that I've done that, I'm going to remove this book from my book bag and go back to my book bag, which now shows four. I have some books here that I'm going to reserve. I want to grab a tale of two cities. One copy is available. I'm going to do a reserve. Asks me when I want to reserve it. I have a choice of using the date that shows, which is which defaults to today's date, or choosing a date at some point in the future. I'm just going to choose this date for today. I'm going to remove that from my book bag. Let's grab Indubious Battle. I'm going to do a reserve on that. There's one copy available. And I'm going to remove that. I don't have to remove these items from my book bag as I'm going along, but I just like to do that. I'm down to Crime and Punishment and Fahrenheit 451. One copy available. Reserve hold. down to Fahrenheit 451 and one copy available. Understand that if this book was not available, that is if it had been borrowed, I would still be able to do a reserve. It would show here that the book was not currently available or that there were none available for borrowing and I would have to reserve for a future date. But in this case it's available so I'm just going to go ahead and reserve. And that's it. I'm done. And so I'm going to go ahead and log out. See you in the next video.